Hi everyone, welcome to another Powerlines Pro tutorial video. In this video I want to talk about precision placement of objects. Now you're probably familiar with just grabbing the pole tool or the conductor tool and placing down some conductors by clicking. Um, sometimes that's, often that's good enough, maybe we're following pole shadows on a map, on a map overlay, um, but often we want to be able to do some more precise placement by entering in some numbers. I will point out, and we have other videos on this, um, that we can do some import from DXF as well to bulk get in precision data. But I'm going to also show you how to use the program itself to do things right in here without having to import anything if we just want to tweak something, for instance. So let's say I've got I've got some poles that I've placed. I've got a pair of poles here. And now I want to extend this conductor like so. Now what I actually want is to make this be exactly 180 degrees. So I want this to be a straight line. But it's a bit difficult to eyeball it precisely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the precision placement tool. You'll find it in a number of in a number of places in the UI. In this case, in the conductor tool, it's you know as well as being able to specify the conductor, the polar construction. I can be precise about my placement. And you'll see when I'm hovering over the design area, it's just following my mouse. But when I hover over here, the placement shows some guides in the design area, and it follows them. You'll notice a red line which is showing a distance, 20 meters, from a point. That point in this case is our distance reference and that currently it's the origin and it's a distance of 20 meters. So if I can increase that by changing this number or decrease it, there's a blue line, that's our bearing reference and it's currently pointing north. And the bearing is that angle there that is shown. And you can see as I change this, the pole is rotating around that point. Now what I actually want is I want this to be 180 degrees straight through. So what I want is to say my distance reference is actually going to be pole 2. So as you can see the guides move there. I want it to be let's say 30 meters. So I'll input 30 meters. But the angle I want it to be based off pole 1. So I want re referencing pole 1, as you can see it's now 129 degrees there. I want to set that bearing to be 180. I'll just scroll here. As you can see, if I move back, it goes to my precision placement. So when I'm done, I can go place and done, and it will leave the, it will terminate the conductor, or I can click place and another just to keep going. And the tool tries to be smart about this, so it's it, it knows that I probably want to continue off that that pole. So it selected the last pole I placed as the distance reference and the one before it as the bearing reference. So, you know, I could alter this angle a little bit, change the distance, place another, it'll continue, maybe increase this angle, and so on. Place and done. So now we're done. So that's, that's the basic idea. Um, but that tool is available, uh, in a number of places in the UI. So now after the fact, I can select the pole, I can then adjust it. So I'll set the distance reference to pole three, uh, and then, you know, I'll do something with the, the distance there. Now poles aren't the only objects uh, that can use this. Height terrain points can as well. Um, and I'll go over that in a second, but first I wanna show you something. There was a part of the UI that I didn't, that I didn't point out and that is this fellow over here, the vertical angle. Now if I try and adjust this, if I increase this, you'll see a right angle triangle in the, in the diagram being shown here. Now this, this is showing the 20 meters on the hypotenuse, the vertical angle is 26 degrees. But you'll see 
it's not actually raising the pole up. It's drawing where that point is in space at the tip of the triangle. But it's warning me that the vertical position differs from the terrain elevation by eight meters in this case. I've gone quite far. So I can still use this. Let's say if I want to get a rough distance and I don't care if the height's a little off, you know, and I'm using, I had a vertical angle when I measured it. But poles are not terrain points. So the terrain isn't going to be affected. It's only going to affect the pole's horizontal position. So if I'm getting a large error, I should probably be either importing some terrain from a DXF file or updating the terrain. Okay, so now I'm going to show the same principle applied to some other kinds of objects. In this case, we're going to use the terrain object. We're going to place a couple of points. Um, and now we're going to adjust their position. So let's say I had this point here. I can still move it by hand. But um, and I want to adjust this second point relative to that first point. So I'll simply select it here. Um, you can also type their name in. And what I'm going to do is do what we were doing before. I can change the bearing. I can change the distance. But also, now this vertical angle actually has some meaning. So if I increase this, you'll notice it is actually deforming the terrain. Increase or decrease. Um, and you'll notice that that right angle triangle is showing up. And we can kind of drill down, have a look at what's actually going on here. So typically you would place a series of these. If you're not just importing data from a DXF file, you would place a series of these, perhaps all referencing a common origin point, um, and you'd build up you'd build up a few of them. Uh, or if the terrain height doesn't change much, you might you might build up uh, a bunch of poles. You might just use it, do it with poles. You don't need to do terrain points for all of them, and so you'd build up a a slice or a, a terrain segment in that way and then you'd set a new reference point and continue on. So by by referencing whatever point you want and bearing from whatever point you can pretty much bit by bit build up uh, an arbitrarily complex uh, design.